Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm really excited to bring to you a Dollar Tree DIY. We are making a coastal Christmas decor. So I have purchased these starfish. They come in packs of four. It's the coastal icons from the shore living. And I picked up several packages, went back, picked up more. Instantly I saw them as Christmas tree ornaments, but we're going to change them up a little bit. Now they have kind of an etching in them, but I don't care about that. And if you can't find these and you can find just regular star shapes, they will work too. You just need wooden star cutouts to do any of the things that we're showing. And while we're making a wreath, I'm also gonna give you other ideas for using these to make your coastal Christmas decorations. I've put a coat of gesso on them. First I tried to brayer it on, but the brush worked a little bit better. And then I have this MDF sign. Again, you can get that at Dollar Tree. You can buy one that already has something on it and paint over it, or they do have wood blanks as well. Now to add some texture and interest and pattern to this, I'm using this Sea Creatures stencil from the Crafters Workshop. It's the six inch one, and the starfish is the perfect size to go on there. Now I can use modeling paste and I've used the TCW, but I'm gonna use something that I got from the hardware store, but you can get spackle from Dollar Tree as well and use it on this DIY. So even though I am using stuff that I already have in my stash, most of the things that you need to finish these projects do come, can be easily purchased at Dollar Tree. So check out there if you don't already have stuff in your stash. So I'm using the spackle knife here and applying the spackle wall compound through the stencil. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you clean the stencil, whether you use modeling paste or whether you use the wall compound. So I'm just positioning this somewhat in the middle as close as I can and I'm applying it and I'm applying it fairly thick. I'm not scraping it right off with the surface because I want to build up the texture. Here I've switched to the key card, my preferred way to put modeling paste or spackle through. Now some people might ask, why would you use spackle or wall compound? Well, if I was making something to sell, I would typically use the modeling paste. It's more archival and, and stuff, but I've had great success using wall compound on magnets and different things. So every once in a while, you're going to want to take time, clean the stencil because it's going to kind of seep underneath and you're gonna transfer onto them. So for the wreath, I am using 15 of those stars. There, I cleaned the stencil, just a little bit of water with the Murphy's oil soap mixture. And then I'm just applying it and putting the texture paste or modeling paste or wall compound through it. As I said, I bought the stars. There were four, I think, four starfish in a pack for a buck fifty in Canada. And as I went, I kept adding, putting it on a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker and building up the texture. So I highly encourage you to do that. Gives it not quite 3D, but it does make it interesting. Then you wanna make sure that this dries really well. You want the wall compound to dry. So I suggest several hours or if not overnight. Now I'm going to paint them. Now starfish come in a variety of colors. They're yellow, orange, red, purple. And they even come in more of a bright um, green, yellow not exactly the teal that I'm going. Here I'm using Naples yellow and I'm using a brush and I'm working it into the modeling paste. This is why you want it to be a modeling paste draw, wall compound. You want it to be really dry because you don't want to rub that off. 
But just like every starfish, they're not identical. So who's to know or care if there's less or more texture on some of them? So I did five of them in the yellow, and then I'm mixing turquoise with the Naples yellow, and that's gonna make it a little bit more green, more teal. And I'm not overly worried that every starfish is the exact color. I'm mixing the paints, and that's giving some variation, and that just adds to your overall project. Now I'm going to put these on a wreath, but you could put them on a garland, on a staircase. Um, they can be ornaments as they are. Now you'll notice that each of these has a hole drilled in it to basically, you know, make it an ornament. You can, if you're not using it, you can fill that with the spackle and when you paint over it, it disappears. So for the last one, I want a reddish color and I am mixing deep violet with orange and this makes an absolutely beautiful red color. I found this out by accident on my gel plate now here you're seeing me, I'm painting the sides and I highly recommend painting the sides before you paint the tops. It just makes it cleaner, you get less mess. It's just easier to do. So once I paint the one side with the modeling paste, I am going to paint the other side the same color. Now that's gonna be mostly hidden but if I, you use it as an ornament, you want both sides to be quite nice. So here I'm flipping it over and painting it. And you can see there's some variation in the colors that are there. And you can paint one coat or, or more as you see fit. I could have also have done, if I was just making this into an ornament, I could have put the texture paste comp wall compound on both sides and had both sides texturized. So there's lots of options. So if you don't want to do exactly what I've done, don't worry about it. There are things that you can fit in using the exact same techniques and supplies. If you want it, you could and do real natural colors. You could do the red and purple, orange, yellow. Now you can see the texture is showing up here, but we're gonna do more to make the texture go come up. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking a makeup sponge and I've got some black acrylic paint on there and I am just going to apply this lightly over the textured area and on the sides. Just kind of grunging it up a little bit, making it a little less perfect, a little bit more natural, I think, a little bit. And I'm gonna do the same to all 15 stars, regardless of the color. The black brings out the texture of the, of the wall compound. And I don't worry if, it, if I get a smudge here or there. I mean, you can always remove that with a baby wipe if it's really not like it, you're not liking it, but it just grunges it up and makes it all the per more perfect. just little by little I'm adding paint I don't want it wet on there so now I'm taking that reddish color and rubbing it on the yellow one 
Now there's a little bit of black there, but I find the black just makes the red stand out a little bit more, grunges it up a little bit. And I'm applying this with my finger. You could use the makeup sponge if that works better for you. You could use a Ranger's blending foam. Sometimes that works better. Try each way. And on the teal one, I'm going to take the Naples yellow and apply it with my finger over the top part. And so this way they all work together in coordination. I'm going to what, let it dry then I come back and I add a little bit more if I wanted a little bit more noticeable and there we have the beautiful starfish I absolutely love the vibrant colors the teal with that orange red is so in so once this completely dries I am giving this a coat of the Minwax Polycrylic Varnish. This is my varnish of choice and I use it on my canvases, on my wood panels, and on this. This is going to be outside so I want to do it. Now some of my holes did get some of that wall compound in them and since I have decided that I need the holes to attach it to the wreath, I'm just using my stylus here and clearing it out before I varnish it. If you are not wanting the holes you want to add the spackle or modeling or wall compound and paint over it so that that disappears so i'm just giving this and i think i gave it two coats top bottom and sides i want this to be protected because i'm hanging this wreath outside and where i live we get more rain than snow come winter time So I give it two coats. Now, bonus footage, I had a few stars left over. Now my idea was to have them ivory on a tree. That was my initial idea when I saw them. So here I'm adding the Crafters Workshop Shimmery Goodness, which is kind of this per wonderful pearlescent shiny thing. I'm adding a little bit of Naples Yellow to make it more ivory. And I'm giving that a good coat. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you this. It's not going on the wreath, but it's a bonus project. But I love the shimmer that the shimmery goodness gives it. They also have white pearl stencil butter, which would do a similar effect. Or you could put iridescence into some paint, iridescent medium into paints as well. So lots of ways to get it. You can paint them gold if that's your thing. Match it to whatever your, the decor is on your tree. And that's the great part of the DIY is that you can match it to exactly what you want. As I said, we're going to come back to this at the after we finish the wreath. This video is only under 25 minutes. Now, I positioned the starfish in groups of three, one of each color, and the sign I decided I'm gonna put at the bottom with three of the stars. So I found a font that I liked, and I found the saying, starfish kisses and Christmas wishes. Now I'm marking where the starfish are going with pencil. And I thought that would be a good idea. I thought I was being so smart. I'll tell you later why I'm not so smart. Then I printed off my sentiment onto tissue paper. And I'm just cutting it out. And I'm going to decoupage that down. Now the tissue paper will go clear and you won't see any of the borders like you do with the copy paper where it's on right now. That was just for sizing. So the secret when you're putting applying tissue paper on is to use fluid medium 
this is fluid matte medium and use a lot of it and put it underneath and on top and that way the edges simply disappear into a background especially when the background's lighter if your background's darker you may still see a bit of the border so Now this sign, I am putting it, I'm attaching it to my wreath, but this could be a standalone sign. You can add a wire hanger to it, um, and it is a Christmas decor item. You could do the same kind of thing on a canvas panel. Now here you can see those marks. We'll come back to that. I'm just making my lettering a little bit darker. I'm using a liner brush and fluid black acrylic paint. I don't have to thin it down and I'm just I'm just darkening the black here. I wanted it a little bit more. You can do the same thing with a Posca marker. I just find I can do it equal with a do a good job with it and easier for me with the liner brush. The secret here too is use thin paint or the fluid paint, acrylic paint, and every once in a while rinse off your brush, clean it up, and then start fresh. I'm edging with brown and then I'm going to edge with black just to match the starfish cutouts. This sign, I after gessoing it, I did put a coat of um, unbleached titanium with just a speck of Naples yellow in it to make it ivory. I didn't want stark white. So I had trouble positioning the starfish because it's not exactly every point is different and then because I put matte medium on it the pencil marks are not erasable so it took me some time to figure out so I wouldn't put the marks there I thought I was being so smart but live and learn I decided to kind of grunge it up and hide those uh, pencil marks if I don't line it up perfectly by adding some splatter in teal the Naples yellow and the red, the colors of the starfish. Splattering hides some of the imperfections that might other might you might otherwise see. So I glued the starfish down with the EG6000, is it? And of course, because I'm doing a video of 600, the glue isn't coming out and I struggled with it. But I used that and I let it sit and I let it dry. Now with the starfish, I positioned the starfish with the hole so that I could put the uh, florist twine, not twine, I guess floral, floral twine metal that I attach it to the wreath with. So I'm making sure that the hole is accessible. So there you can see the hole, there's two at the top, the yellow and the red one, and the hole in the bottom on the teal one. And I put the florist twine. And there is the wreath. I, I positioned each, or I tied it on each one separately. And I added some bulbs, twinkling light that are battery operated. I love, love, love how this turned out. My coastal Christmas wreath. 
Now remember, these starfish can be on a garland. You just attach them with the florist twine as well. Florist wire, I guess is what it's called. You can just have them as singles. They could be added to canvases or art journal pages. The possibilities really are endless. And the colors, well, they can be whatever color you want. So back to those ones, remember I put the um, shimmery goodness on them and that is dry. So now I'm taking brown on a Ranger blending phone and bringing out the texture. I thought gold, but gold didn't show up very well. So I added the brown and I loved how that worked out. And I'm just building up the color of the brown. Now this matches my Christmas tree. It's kind of, it's got burgundy-ish red, um, very much um, farmhouse colors. I'm putting the brown around the edge. I put the shimmery coat of shimmery goodness on the back as well. I'm grunging it up. These look really nice. And then I decided these, since it's Starfish Wishes, I'm putting wishes on the back, but you could put people's names. You could add the compound to both sides and have it double-sided. These could be gift tags. They could be, with the names on them, they could be names on, attached to a stocking. You can attach it to wine bottles. Here I'm adding a little bit of black just to bring it out. Then I'm using my Secura glaze pen and doing some stitch work around the back of this. These are going to hang on my tree, so I want to be able to not worry about what side they're showing or if all sides are showing. These hooks, fancy hooks, I got at Dollar Tree. They are just the perfect accompaniment. You could take one of these and just temporarily attach it with removable tape to a card that turns into a ornament. I wish I had those, those hooks were gold. I might use spray paint. So here they are on the tree. I like the idea of grouping them, having a groups of three on different parts of the tree. But to do that, I'm hoping they go on sale again this summer because I will be grabbing more of them. Thank you so much for joining me. There are close-ups of the wreath coming up. What would you do with these starfish? Answer in the comment section below. Until next time, go get creative.